hello guys welcome back to our channel so in today's video we are diving into the world of python programming to create something really cool and practical so guys uh, have you ever wondered that how can we generate the qr codes using python so we all know the qr codes right qr codes allow user to access information instantly that is why it is called quick response code all right so in today's video we are going to learn that how can we create qr codes by using simple script of python in three line so guys let's begin uh, let's start first by importing the qr code library qr code as qr so guys basically uh, this lines uh, the lab you can see the library qr code so basically uh, which is a python library uh, for generating qr codes uh, this uh, alias qr is used to make it shorter and more convenient to reference into the code all right so simply it is our first line and now in the second line i am going to create a variable called qr underscore code so in this variable i am going to save the instance of the qr code all right so from the library i am using this uh, qr dot make function and in this make function i am going to insert my url so i am going to create a qr code of the link of my youtube channel all right in which you are currently watching so guys here is the link of my channel so i am going to make the QR code for this link. So, guys, uh, basically, this QR dot make function uh, is called to create a QR code instance in variable QR code. Or uh, by providing it with the data or URL we want to encode in it. All right. So, in this case, uh, we are using URL of our channel. All right. So, this is our second line. Our third and last line is to save. Uh, the qr code is being generated here and has been saved in this variable now i want to save it in any specific location into my system all right so i am going to again this qr code variable and use this save method all right so by using this simple save method i am going to assign the specific path in which it, uh, it is going to save so i am in this python folder i want it to save so i can just paste it here now the name of the the name of the image should be uh, i can say that my my channel dot png so i am going to store it into the png format all right uh, let's run this program to see that is it working or not it is running now uh, the code has been successfully run and now let's check the my channel png yes here you can see the time is uh, accurate mm. also uh, here it is the url of my basically this is the qr code of my url that i inserted all right now let's test it so you can also scan it by the phone but as i am uh, making this tutorial on my laptop so i'm going to use this lens google lens so i'm going to upload a file and this uh, desktop in desktop i have this python code and in python code my channel and png so now this is going to upload it now it is uh, as you can see if uh, it is saying the search bar in the search bar you can see it is uh, after extracting the information from the qr code google is representing my url here on the right side here it is so i can just copy the url and i can directly go into the website you can see that uh, after clicking on the website my channel uh, is opening here all right so all right guys so that wraps up our short tutorial let's quickly summarize what we have covered so basically we first imported the qr code library all right 
so it is an excellent tool for generating qr codes in python then we use this qr.make function to create a qr code instance encoding our youtube channel url and then we saved the generated image then we saved the generated qr code as an image file in this specific path so guys uh, basically qr codes are incredibly versatile and useful whether you are sharing links contact information or anything else you need to use the qr codes effectively all right guys so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and now you are in and you are now inspired to create your own qr codes for various purposes so guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more python tutorials and hit the notification bell to stay updated feel free to share your thoughts or ask questions in the comment section below thank you for watching and see you in the next video